Welcome to The Memories, a place where friends and family can pay a rich, meaningful tribute to a deceased loved one, free from the constraints of traditional obituaries. We'll spend a few minutes here showing funeral directors how to create an account on The Memories, create a life story on behalf of a client, and transfer ownership of the life story to the client. It's a clean, intuitive process, so easy you can even do it on a mobile phone. To create life stories on the memories, you first need to set up a free account. Funeral directors will be asked to indicate that they represent a funeral home and enter some additional information. This allows us to tailor your experience on the memories as you manage life stories on behalf of clients. We also include your funeral home's info on the life story. Once you verify your account, sign into the memories. Now you're ready to create a life story. Click on Create a Life Story in the header. Fields with an asterisk are required. The required fields are the minimum information you'll need to enter before you can publish a life story. You can save a draft of the life story at any time. And come back to it later by clicking the menu button in My Life Stories. Beyond the basic required information, the Memories gives you and your client the chance to create a rich portrait of the departed, complete with their life story, a timeline, and photos. Start with a profile picture. You can either drag and drop the image or select it from your computer. You can add a cover photo the same way. Tell all about the person in the life story section. Unlike traditional obituaries, Life stories have no word count or per line cost, so the family can share every detail, story, and memory they feel is important. They can show who the person was, not just what they did. You can include a featured quote that will stand out in the life story. Besides the main image, the family can include as many additional photos of their loved one as they like in the photo gallery. Adding photos to a life story enhances the story, making it more personal and engaging. Again, just drag and drop the images or click to select them from your computer. Click and drag photos to reorder. The first photo in the gallery will show in the body of the life story. Click on a photo to open edit tools. You can rotate, flip, crop, or delete the photo. There's also an option to add the photo to the timeline, which we'll discuss more in a moment. Additional fields allow you to enter the author's contact information, so people reading the life story can reach out to him or her. You can give details about various funeral services that will be held, and provide links where friends and family can donate to a family fund or a particular charity. Next is the Timeline, an interactive feature that allows friends and family to visualize and contribute to the person's major life events and milestones in a way traditional obituaries do not. To add an entry, click Build Timeline, and then add a memory. Enter the description and date of the event, then add a photo if you'd like. If the family chooses, you can complete the additional information section to provide more biographical details about the person, such as their education, occupation, military status, and where they lived. Now that you've entered information about the person, we'll look at how to publish and share a life story. First, name the friend or family member of the deceased who will act as owner of the life story. They'll get an email allowing them to claim it when it's published. You'll still have access to edit the life story as well. If you'd like to let friends and family preview the life story before you publish it, send them the link provided here. Once you're ready to publish, review the contribution agreement and then click Continue to Publish. When you submit your payment info, the life story will publish. Life stories appear chronologically by publication date on the homepage. Or you can search for a particular one by name, keyword, or location. Family and friends can easily share the life story by copying the link or clicking the share icon. Best of all, a life story is a living document. It never comes down. The family can return and add to it forever. So it's more biography than obituary, more a celebration of life than a notification of death. Thanks for visiting the memories. If you have any questions, click on contact us, fill out the message form, and a member of our support team will reach out to you.